This week on Daybreak, we are helping you discover yourself through DNA test kits. That's right, these test kits can tell you really everything, your ethnicity, yep. they can tell you what type of workout you should do, things that you didn't think they could tell you, they can tell you. Absolutely. Well, Christina is here to tell us about her experience with the food sensitivity test, and this entire time you thought it was gluten. Gluten. And for me, it started with a question I think a lot of people can relate to. I eat something, maybe pizza, and it just doesn't sit well with you, so are you allergic to the food, sensitive to it, or did you just eat too much. Here's what I found out. According to experts at the Mayo Clinic, there's a big difference between food allergies and intolerances. When you're allergic, your immune system literally goes into attack form, hence symptoms such as hives, itching, wheezing, abdominal pain, difficulty breathing, and many more. The symptoms can be life-threatening. So if you don't think you're allergic to the food and your immune system is not triggered, you could be just sensitive. If you want to avoid the possible upset stomach, bloat, headaches, there are now tests out there that claim to test your DNA to find out exactly what's causing problems after your meal. Some popular options include Everly Well. It will set you back nearly $200. I went with AllergyTest.co. They test your DNA against hundreds of food items to to find out what you might be intolerant of. The process was easy and relatively inexpensive, costing a total of $70. Pluck a few hairs and send them off to the lab. 10 days later, I had my results. I wasn't sensitive to much, but the foods listed made complete sense. So I've always known I'm not allergic to anything, but I knew something wasn't sitting well with me. And I always thought it was gluten. And I was so shocked. So many things clicked when I found out it was actually malted grains that I was sensitive to and tolerant of. And number two, this one was a big one too. I've always had weird reactions when eating maybe gummy vitamins, but you love them so much you don't want to give them up. It's hard boiled <laughs> sugar, as in Swedish fish, as in Starburst candy, as wow. in gummy vitamins that I wasn't sensitive to. Uh, I was sensitive to and leaks was the third one, but I can't say that I. You're not gonna uh, miss that one, right? I'm not gonna miss that one. <laughs> and I will say, very important. Uh, I'm, once again, I'm not allergic to any of this food, but once I cut them out, three weeks now, it has been. I've seen a huge difference in my energy levels as well as my skin. My skin has cleared a lot more. Interesting. Incredible. Wow. That's a good one to take. Wow. All right, okay. Christina. Thank you. Well, we're gonna keep this going tomorrow on Daybreak. Aisha Scott is gonna tell us about the DNA test that she took and hers tells her what type of exercise would be best for her based on her DNA. Isn't that fascinating? Interest, it, it's things yeah. that you do not think these tests are going to tell you that no. have been very fascinating. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, there's tests for everything. Exactly. It's pretty cool. And you're, you keep finding DNA relatives. I know, they're <laughs> popping up everywhere. Everybody wants to be related to Dennis. Right, right. <laughs>